Over the years, there have been many mysterious phenomena. Although most of these are eventually solved, there are some that remain unsolved. One of these goes by the name of the Hornet Spook Light. The mysterious light started around 1866, and ever since then hundreds of people have encountered them. They occur in northeast Oklahoma, but have many of the same characteristics of orb lights seen in various parts of the world. Interestingly though, in this case witnesses describe the light as being a bright orange ball. This ball of light measures anywhere from 10 inches up to 4 feet in diameter. What happens next is what makes this case truly bizarre. It then starts to bob along a 6.4 km or 4 mile stretch of road. It's almost as if it's following the rules of the road as it stays within the lines. Photographic evidence has been hard to capture as it's usually seen by witnesses driving past in the opposite direction. However, with that being said, there has been some photos that have been captured. It's believed that Native Americans were the first ones to see the lights. It's important to note that the lights haven't caused harm to anyone. If anything, it just causes confusion as to what it could be. The most common theory for what it could be is that of another driver's headlines, but witnesses who have seen it have said it's a solid object and doesn't belong to another car. Some have compared these lights to the Willow Wisp and even the strange phenomena that occurs in Marfa, Texas. Over the years, many people have reported seeing mysterious lights in Marfa, Texas. As with the Hornet Spook Light, the Marfa lights have been seen for many generations. Early settlers would describe seeing bright objects that pulsated, and when they tried to approach them they simply vanished. The lights appear almost nightly, and can be seen at a distance from Highway 90. Again, researchers put forward the idea that what's being seen is car headlines, and it's actually the reflections that what people are seeing. They are most commonly observed close to Route 67 on Mitchell Flat. This can be found east of Marfa, Texas. But the strange thing is that there's nothing around this location. It's mostly shrubs and desert, and as mentioned, these lights have been seen for hundreds of years. So this rules out the idea of it being cars. As of right now though, these lights remain a mystery and people are still seeing them to this day. Humanity has been in a constant state of evolution. We're incredibly intelligent and this is backed up by various inventions and scientific discoveries. These discoveries can range from advanced research into different forms of medicine, inventions of new and complex machines and even the discovery of already occurring phenomena that was otherwise unknown. One of the biggest questions surrounding DNA is what causes it to work the way it does. For those that are not aware, every single cell in your body contains the same DNA code inside of its nucleus, and the nucleus itself works to act like the brain of the cell, and carries out the specific growth and functions needed to perform its specific job that is communicated via the strands of DNA inside it. Genetic modification is a controversial topic. There are many arguments for and against it. However, one thing that can be agreed on is that it has helped us to understand things about our body. Recently, it was announced that genetically modified T cells have been observed destroying cancerous cells. The cells in question come from mice. The experiment showed researchers that these cells actually hunted for the tumor cells. Once found, it started the process of breaking them down. Scientists have now come forward and said that this is promising for humans. Although these types of experiments are frowned upon by some, it could help save many lives in the future. The scientists involved said they've seen a major resurgence in interest in reprogramming T cells to take down cancer cells. Many have been excited by this news as it could mean that trials could start on humans. Unfortunately, cancer is one of those diseases that affects many people. It's the second leading cause of death, second only to cardiovascular disease. In 2016, over 8.9 million people are estimated to have died from various forms of cancer. A question that many people ask is why haven't we cured cancer? Billions of pounds has been raised and endless amounts of man hours have been put into trying to find cures, so it's not an unfair question. Cancer is complex and it's not just one disease. There's over 100 that we know of so far, so it's very unlikely there's going to be one cure for all of them. However, scientists are working very hard, and every year there is breakthroughs that help us. The Inca Empire has become known as the biggest empire in pre-Columbian America. 
After years of study, researchers have discovered that the Inca Empire operated largely without money and without markets. The way they got around this is people would get things for services they provided. These deals would have been made between individuals, groups and Inca rulers. It's no secret that the Inca civilization was sophisticated, but incredibly they didn't learn how to write. Scientists however have come forward and said they did create colourful knotted cords. These are known as quipu. When first discovered, we found out they used this as a system for recording numbers, but researchers have also said these cords could tell long lost stories. Since their discovery, it's been tough to try and make out what these knots mean, but researchers are trying their hardest to decode these messages, and it's thought they could give us an insight into life many years ago. This system of writing that the Incas used is very different from anything we know of, and it's changed the way we view past civilizations. Another thing the Incas are known for is the ancient megalithic city of Machu Picchu. This site had evaded the discovery of many Spanish explorers during the Spanish conquest in the 16th century. Although many were aware of the existence of the large city since it had been abandoned by Incas centuries in the past, the truth and the location regarding the site was completely shrouded in mystery. In 1911, the city was rediscovered by an American historian known as Hiram Bingham who brought the site to international attention. The undisturbed location not only gave the clearest view into the lives of the indigenous tribes, but also led to many other conspiracy theories and revelations regarding the technological process of the people. The city appeared to be a large megalithic structure using stones cut to such precise measurements, and in massive sizes that it led many to question the construction capabilities previously imagined by the local populations. In 2007, after the fall of the Inca Empire, many aspects of Inca culture were systematically demolished. This included things like their agriculture. Spanish officials used the Incas for labour and had them work in the gold and silver mines. To this day, many aspects of Inca life remain a mystery. This is largely because of the Spanish invaders. There are still many questions to be answered, but it does seem that every year scientists and researchers learn more about this incredible civilization. Even with the technology we have today, it would be tough to construct the Great Pyramid of Giza. Its construction over 4,000 years ago is so astounding in some people's eyes that they invoke mystical, even otherworldly involvement. Over the years, evidence has been put forward which could suggest the pyramids predate the Egyptians, and that a more advanced civilization lived before them. The Great Pyramid is located at the center of the landmass of the Earth. When looking at the pyramids, most will agree that it has four sides. However, photographs taken years ago go against this. The centers of the four sides are indented with an extraordinary degree of precision. This means that it actually forms an eight-sided pyramid. What's strange though is that this can only be observed from the sky. So many people have questioned why can you only see this when you're above the pyramid? What use would this be when they were made thousands of years before flight? Another thing that's strange is that it can only be seen at dawn and sunset on the spring and autumn. This is when the sun casts a shadow on the pyramid. For a reference to the size of the pyramids, each block of the colossal structure weighs roughly 2.5 metric tons, with over 2.3 million blocks making up the entirety of the structure. Not only did this require 315 blocks to be moved in place each day for the next 20 years, but to achieve such a building scale of delivering the large stones and moving them into place every day would be a near impossible feat unable to be managed. If a stone wall was made to be 2 feet high and 4 inches wide, using the blocks of the Pyramid of Giza the wall would wrap around the circumference of the entire world. Not only this, but the blocks were made with such perfect precision that each block appears to be an exact clone in size to the rest of the blocks of the pyramid meaning the cut of each stone was so perfect it would be impossible to slide something as thin as a piece of paper between any two stones. The only way to achieve such a precision cut in the modern era would be to rely on laser cutting and guiding. As new discoveries and 3D mapping of the pyramids continue, even more mysterious natures of their structure were found. Archaeologists and Egyptologists found high trace amounts of chemical compounds throughout the shafts of the pyramid, and they have the ability to generate a massive amount of hydrogen. This would be by utilizing commonly found base chemicals in the region. This has led some theorists to believe the pyramids themselves could have once been powerful hydrogen generators, 
and have the capabilities of supplying electrical and energy similar to modern day power plants. December the 25th is the date millions of people celebrate. It's considered to be the birth date of Jesus Christ. Today, most scholars disagree with that. They believe he was not born on that day. They believe he was not even born in the year 1 AD. This is actually a huge change from what we've previously been taught. Many researchers claim the Roman Catholic Church actually settled on December the 25th. To make things interesting, no one really knows the exact birth date of Jesus Christ. Many scholars believe he was born between 6 BC and 4 BC. Recently, archaeologists have come across what they think is the earliest depiction of Jesus Christ. This drawing was discovered in an ancient tomb in Egypt. The artwork itself shows what appears to be a young man. According to some Egyptologists, the painting could show the person raising his hand as if making a blessing. The Egyptologists who discovered the painting led a team to research the area. When he first discovered the drawing, he thought it was Christ. Before reaching the painting though, the archaeologists had to remove over 40 tons of rock. After doing this, they finally discovered a crypt. After looking around, they could see several coats of paint on the wall, which was from the time of the first Christians. Currently, they are trying to translate some of the artwork they found. Incredibly, it's now being said that the tomb within the rock could be connected to Jesus, and could have been painted by those who knew him personally. The location of the painting is less than two miles from the old city of Jerusalem. Lying only 200 feet away is the second tomb, termed the Jesus Family Tomb. The tomb contained the names of Jesus and his family. The archaeologists hoped the drawing and the text would shed light on the family tomb, as many believe the names are a coincidence. During the excavation of the tomb, archaeologists were able to see the entire area, and even found a central chamber with other remains. Some are saying this is one of the biggest discoveries in regards to Jesus. However, some are not entirely won over by this find. The drawing is quite faint and this has led some people to suggest that it could depict anyone, and that more proof is needed before we come to a conclusion. Some say that due to the area, findings like this will always be linked to Jesus. Regardless of whether this painting depicts Jesus, it's still an incredible find. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.